So my name is Bernardo Lopez. I work in BMW's powertrain development, and today we're here at uh, BMW's Efficient Dynamics Innovation Days. And one of the core topics that we're presenting is the new BMW Efficient Dynamics engine family, which will hit the market uh, in a few years down the road. And I would like to explain a few features of this new engine family, what it is about and uh, what we think is special about it and our customers would like. So the new BMW Efficient Dynamics engine family um, will be a completely new developed engine family which will be using BMW's twin power turbo technology for diesel engines but also for gasoline engines. We do have this technology today in our engines um, and we're going to use it again in refined versions in this new engine family. The main goal of the new engine family is to supply our vehicle portfolio with an engine portfolio uh, with which we are able to meet the targets for the future in terms of uh, emissions while keeping the typical BMW and many dynamics that we have in our cars. So when we looked at this and said, well, uh, what type of engines do we need to develop for the future? Uh, we came up that it is ideal if we design this engine family with a cylinder size of 500 cubic centimeters around and uh, we cover a, with a portfolio from 1.5 liters to 3 liters of displacement. Uh, if you break this further down, you end up having engines with three, four, and six cylinders that will be, uh, which the new engine family will be formed of. Um, I just mentioned the BMW Twin Power Turbo technology. Uh, just in more detail, maybe more on the gasoline side, it means it consists of three elements. The first element is variability. We need to be able to provide the necessary amount of air quickly enough and very efficiently into the engine. For that we have BMW's Valvetronic system. The second element is direct injection. So we have, uh, as we already have, like in our six-cylinder twin-power turbo engine and four-cylinder twin-power turbo engine, it's a direct injection which also will go into the new engine family. And the third element is, of course, the turbo system itself, and we try to find the perfect turbo charger system for each and every engine application. So, these are the basics of the new engine family. There will be a high degree of commonality of components among the three, four, and six-cylinder gasoline engines, but also a commonality with diesel engines. One of them new, really new things about the engine family is of course that we will have three-cylinder diesel and gasoline engines and here we have a first <coughs> uh, uh, example of one of our three-cylinder uh, gasoline engines that we are displaying at today's event and um, so the, the big question about around the three-cylinder is does that really work? Is that really a typical BMW engine? And we did a lot of uh, simulations but also tests in vehicles and we are convinced that this engine has the characteristics that will meet the BMW standards and at the same time reduce further consumption and increasing the dynamics. So let me tell you a little bit about the three-cylinder so that uh, uh, I can convince you as well why this is why this is a good engine. So first of all, the best way to think about the three-cylinder is not saying, okay, we have a four-cylinder and we take one cylinder away. The best way to think about it is take a six-cylinder and make out of the six-cylinder two three-cylinders. Why? The vibrations, dynamics, the sound of a three-cylinder is very similar to a six-cylinder engine, more similar than to a four-cylinder engine. Also, the dynamics, the response, uh, the, the, the dynamic behavior of the engine is uh, very good. It's, uh, uh, it's at least at the level that we have in our four-cylinder twin-power turbos, and in some cases it's even better. 
So all together, putting all together, we believe this is a uh, typical BMW type engine that will be able to fit into the cars that are coming in the next generations and that will, uh, where the, the, the power um, for, the, for the first positions of the, of the engine starting from around about 100 kilowatts, so around 130 horsepower, uh, the new three-cylinder three engines uh, will be able to cover that part. Okay, so I would like to um, explain a little bit around one topic where um, a lot of questions come up. Uh, so the uh, typical question uh, when we uh, uh, propose a three-cylinder is why, well, why don't you take a four-cylinder and uh, use cylinder deactivation? Uh, we, uh, there are solutions uh, on the market or have been announced uh, that this is a better way to do it. Uh, we have examined this topic at BMW and we actually do not think that this is the right solution for us in the new uh, engine family. Why? Um, we have BMW's Valvetronic. Valvetronic is a system that helps to reduce fuel consumption and increases uh, dynamics, uh, primarily in the range where um, uh, we work in part loads or where you do not need the full power of the engine. Cylinder deactivation also works in this region, however, uh, the range in which you can apply cylinder activation is much smaller. You, can, uh, you have to deactivate it um, again at uh, lower RPMs. Uh, you cannot run it at higher loads. In addition, uh, the engine has to run in, at the same operational point to be able to use the, the high efficiency of cylinder deactivation and probably the most important um, disadvantage at this point is that uh, once you start deactivating uh, cylinders, you introduce an additional vibration into the engine that needs to be compensated by some other measure uh, in the car. So putting all together, uh, we compare the BMW Vaftronic as if you had lamps and you wanted to reduce the amount of light as a dimming, as a, as a fading of these, instead of switching part of these lights off. Uh, you can think of it as this way and we believe this is the better technology for the BMW engine family.